G'day, motherfuckers. So, creation kit's here. Thank fuck for that, eh? So, I thought, you know, I'd show you a bit how to use it. Um, just the basics. I'm not Flash, I don't do scripting or anything like that. Um, it's just not my bag at this stage. I, I want to learn, but uh, I just don't know how. Um, but uh, it's here. So, I'll show you basically what we're going to do is uh, make a dungeon. Make the start of a dungeon, connect it to the world, and um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm going to show you. From there, it's all up to you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to move, move around the freaking editor, and that's about it. Um, so what we want to do to start off with is um, you know, load that bad boy up. You want to go over here to data, and um, you want to double click that. That's my that's my first one. That's what the bit that I made so far, basically. You load up the ASM. Um, it'll take a while. It'll take a while to load in, but um, that's just a thing that you have to have to bloody put up with because it's loading in all of Fallout 4 right now. It's not loading in just where you know the vault or just Sanctuary or anything like that. It's loading the whole bloody the whole thing. Um, so you know you see progress going on down there. Um, it's a thing that will happen. Um, and yeah, it'll load in eventually. You get uh, tips now, which is good. I don't know. I don't know they're not really helping me at this stage, but. Um, you can now rename multiple forms in object window by selecting them, right clicking and selecting rename. That's fantastic. I have no idea what that means, but you know, it's a thing. So there's tips. Did you notice? Um, the Gek, I don't think that had, had tips and stuff like that, but um, I've used the Gek a fair bit. I made a bit of a, a bit of a player house extension for the Megaton house. That's about all I did. I was going to release it, but then I had viruses that kill my system. Um, you know, the old Sector Zero One virus. But anyway, um, I digress. Um, so yeah, load that up. It's loaded. There we go. So now we've got all the stuff, all the bits, and um, you'll get this. Warnings, just close it. Who cares? Doesn't even matter. Don't even worry about it. It's a thing that happens. Um, but yeah, here's, over here, we'll, we'll show you the windows. This is the render window. That's where you see what's going on. You can actually see the world and stuff. This is the cell window. That's the bits of the world. All the little cells. Um, you've got interiors. You've got the Commonwealth um, and other exterior cells inside the commonwealth um, the object window is all the stuff all the bits um, all the bloody clutter all the bits of paper all the posters all the walls all the buildings all the doors all the bits basically um, as well as other stuff uh, that i don't really piss fight around with but um yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new cell and um there's no new cell there's no way uh, as far as i'm aware there's no way to make a new cell so what i do is i just go go barney Go, I'll make Barney's Bunker, right click on that and go duplicate cell and then you've got a copy right here, copy of Barney's Bunker and we're going to name this, um, so just click on that, wait a second, click again and then name it um, Testo2 and we'll put some A's in front of it so it's at the top of the list like a boss because we want to be on top um, and there it is, but the, thing, the problem with that is it's got exactly the same bits as that so you will probably crash the computer if you're trying to walk into Barney's bunker if you don't bloody move stuff um, you'll probably crash your computer because it doesn't know where to go it's trying to go to both those cells so we're gonna go click on your thing here and then select the nav mesh at the top or whatever is at the top here scroll all the way down to the bottom hit shift select that bad boy and just hit delete say yes delete it all you don't need it and look it's still there but it's not really because it just seems to um, so you click on something else and then you click back on it and it's gone you now have an empty cell and that's the end of the tutorial now just kidding. i'll do some more um so now we've got a world space basically uh, what we need to do with the world space is put stuff in it um because you know if we teleported there we'd just fall and fall and fall there's nothing in there just be freaking gray space so what we want to do is go over to the object window here um, and you've got a view up here if you if you're missing any of your windows you can go view select those and um, we want to go world objects I want to go statics and we want to go down to vault and I'm just going to select this for now and type in up here res because residential um, seems to be like a fairly basic um, set to work with um, I like it uh, because it's basic uh, I don't want to be you know, piss farting around and what I want to drop in is the, probably this one uh, res way door double click on that and you can actually see a picture of it fuck off warning so we'll just put that down there for now because it's just going to keep popping up um, that's that's the bit that I want um, so yeah I will drop this bad boy in oh no I don't want that bit actually I want the door I want the end door 
So this is the bit that I want. No, that's not even what I want. That's the, the bit that I've selected first, that's the way. That is the one. So one way, door. So it's got, you can, you can rot rotate it just by uh, left clicking and dragging in this window to have a look at it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna drop this into the world space basically. Uh, well, before it's render window, it's empty. So what you need to do is double click on the world space. And now you're in the world space. In the world space, mate. Don't just freaking be dragging it across there because nothing will happen. That's what that's what was going on with you. That's what you should have just waited and listened a bit further in my tutorial. But that's fine. We'll, uh, so this is the one that I wanted. Boom, boom, and I'll drop this in. Boom, and there's me. Uh, there's me. Um, little bitsy that I just dropped into the world space. There it is. Now another thing that you want to make sure Eve, is that these are selected because otherwise it's all just freaking. It's you're gonna have a bad time. You are. So make sure those are selected, um, snap to grid, snap to angle. Uh, so you can do that and do this. And move it to the to the grid angles and it's a lot easier. When you set, you know, when you're putting clutter in, you want to remove these because you want to put it in a specific place. But for setting up the levels themselves, you want that. Uh, the next bit I want is the end. So I'm going to put an end on this bad boy, like so. And um, I'll, I'll need to show you how to move around this, this bit. So the window. So, you know, I can move it back and forth, but how do I know where it is? I mean, it could be freaking, oh, look, it's lined up, it's totally not. But, um, you know, how do I know where it is? So what you do is you hold shift while you're over this window and you can rotate around whatever you've got selected. Uh, rotate around that, so I select that, rotates around that, select that, rotates around that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, shift, I wanna move him. Now, it's freaking too high, isn't it? Freaking, it's not on the right level, but freaking, when I try and drag it, it just moves around. So you want to help what to do? Hold down Z. See there, and we will just drop that down to the right level, and shift. We we'll scroll around a bit, and you can see that it's all lined up. All lined up, perfect. It's fantastic. It's a wonderful life. Another thing that you can do to move around the window is hold down spacebar, um, and that'll move your side to side, up to up, and you can use your scroll mouse wheel duver to move in and out. Um, so that's basically how you move around shift to rotate the world um, and space and zoom to move around it sort of thing um, so next I want to put a put a door at the end of this because we're going to make a little bit of a room so um, we'll move that rotate it with the right mouse button is rotate uh, left mouse button is move hold down the Z move it down to the right level boom 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 and we've got a bit. Oh, we've got a bit. We've totally got a bit. Um, the next bit that we want to do is put a door in. All right. So I'm going to put a door in here. Uh, but um, here we've got, you know, we've got a vault. And if we go in here, we've got doors. Doors. Look at those doors. Fancy doors. Um, all the doors in the world, probably. Well, a few doors anyway. But um, I don't, you know, they're just decoration doors for when you're moving around the level. They'll open up so you can get through. They won't take you places. They won't take you places in the world. So what you want to go to do, back, back to world objects, door. And these are the ones that you want. Um, we're going to select res door 01. I'm pretty sure that's the one. That's not totally not the one. Uh, vault door res 01. I will double click on it, make sure it's a pretty good. Yeah, it's a good door. Um, vault door res 01. I drop that in there and move that into um, Z. Left click and Z. Left click, slide, and that's it probably in there. Let's have a look. I'll move and I'll zoom and I'll, freaking, I'll just rotate around this one instead. That bad boy's in there. Because of the snap to grid and the snap to angle. Otherwise, you will have a bad time. And um, yeah, so that's, um, you know, we've created a, a dungeon. We've started. We made a dungeon. Um, space, move it around, shift. Another thing that you'll encounter, because you're probably a gamer like me, is um, this thing. And you're like, what the fuck's this here? Why can't I move my stuff anymore? And freaking, it's just not doing what I want it to do. Um, that's because you hit W. That's because you totally hit W and you just need to hit W again to select that. Another thing you'll include out is this thing. Why is my level all freaking dark? That's because you hit A. Um, another shortcut on the thing is D to just unselect everything, um, which is good. You know, a few shortcuts for you. Uh, w for the selecting of the axes. A's for the selecting of the levelness and 
D to uh, D select whatever you've got selected. So it's good. It's a wonderful life. We made a dungeon. It's a thing that we did right then. But you know what? It's not totally a thing yet until we um, save it. So you want to go to save your file. You go save and we'll name that bad boy. Uh, we'll name it Testo Two because I've already started a test. I made a made a bit of a testing um, room. And um, yeah, so now it's a thing. It's a, it's an ESP, and you can go into your mods and load that in, and you you won't be able to get there unless you freaking use the console command and transport to um, where are we? Cell view a testo two. Unless you use um, transport to the cell, then you won't be able to get there because it's not connected to the world. Um, so that'll be the next uh, the next episode of the tutorial. Um, we'll connect it to the world. We'll put a we'll put a hatch into the world space and um, yeah we'll connect it in so we can get, actually get in here without having to freaking use console commands it'll be, be great it'll be a wonderful thing uh, but till then stay chill motherfuckers see you next time